Hello YouTube! Right there chaps, greetings fellow guitar travellers. See I've got multiple catchphrases now. I'm just going to go with hello YouTube because I'm just becoming a lazy in my old age. I've got another phono pushing legato to 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 thing to show you. Uh, so let me just go ahead and play it and then uh, we might, might work about with it a wee bit. Anyway, it's insane. Of course it is! <laughs> Let's fiddle around with it. What is this? Right, so it sounds really insane. It's like Joe Satriani on acid, I guess. Um, but it is fundamentally fairly simple to play. So we've got like a, an eight note pattern, but the shapes are really simple, right? So I've got D, E, F, and G, and then G, A, B flat, and C, right? So those eight notes. And all we do is move that in octaves, right? So an octave higher, and an octave higher. Oops. I can't even play it slow. Yeah, so the whole thing's uh, slowly. Hopefully we get all the notes, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I suppose I'll give you the tab. So 10, 12, 13, 15, 10, 12, 13, 15, 12, 14, 15, 17, 12, 14, 15, 17, then 15, 17, 18, 20, 15, 17, 18, 20. It is D natural minor, all right? And then, mm, pattern I'm playing in it. Well, now, a couple of things I was doing. So I'm doing my favorite pattern of 10, right? So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 on every string, that was one of the ones I did. Play that just the same, it's gonna sound like this. That's really, really quick. Let's hear that against the track. This would be what's called um, deck couplets, right? 10 notes in one beat. And I'm cramming in 10 notes in one beat at 140 BPM. Yeah! <laughs> I just do the same thing ascending. One, two, three, four. Definitely harder ascending. And a little bit hampered by the access on this guitar. Sometimes I feel like this bit of my hand is running into the horn of the guitar. Makes me horny. <laughs> um, all right, and then I think the original part I played was something a little bit different. It was this. Kind of you go down three strings, back a string, down three strings, back a string, down three strings. It's really just adapted from three note per string patterns I used to play all the time, just put on them into four note per string things. Wow, the imagination. Maybe let me try and play that one, maybe uh, sort of an even semi quaver, so you've got an idea of how it would sound. It was just even semi quaver. Should we do that? So that's kind of just 16th, right? And then let's try the, the straight thing again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, very quick. Two, three, four. Yeah, so even though I'm cramming in like a huge number of notes, uh, it is symmetrical in the sense that there's a pulse. It's just maybe not like even, you know, it's not like even 16ths or 30, 30 second notes or 16th or triplets or whatever. It's just, he, here's like a beat and then how many notes can I cram into this beat? And then maybe not all completely even, if you see what I mean? So I'm playing like... So I'm doing that, I'm just thinking about three, four. So there is definitely a pulse, but yeah, I mean not a metrical pulse, but it still sounds like yeah, it's the definite shape to the thing. Anyway, if you fancy it, have at it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.